Skyrim. Oh. <laughs> the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. God, the, there's not enough minutes in an entire day to describe all the reasons why this is amazing. I'll try and break it down. I'll simplify please, it. Please do, because yeah. you have three minutes. <laughs> I've got three minutes. I could, I could talk for an hour about this. But um, All right, it's a big... It's a big, I'll talk about it in completely basic terms if you don't know the Elder Scrolls, whatever. It's a big, massive world, right? The, one of the biggest worlds you've ever seen in a video game. And you are set loose in it, uh, and you can do what you want. It's full of quests, distractions, secrets, beautiful scenery, seek mystery, mysterious locations. You can wander around at, at your leisure doing stuff. You can get involved in people's lives. You can join cults and guilds and... You can go on quests, you can go on adventures, you can kill dragons, you can unlock magic hats. You can do it, it's, 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 it's an adventure. Like a magic hat. Yeah, <laughs> there are all kinds of magic hats. How is it hats. different to Oblivion? Uh, it's got you know, a lot of beards yeah. in it as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's got added beards. <laughs> it's got, a, uh, you know, a, a, if you've played Oblivion, you'll know that that game was plagued by stupid glitches, clumsy interface, a general feeling of uh, a lack of polish. This is like Oblivion shined up with a, oh, nice. a chamois cloth, polished up Oblivion, mm. gets rid of all the stupid niggles from that game. There's still a few things hung, hung over, weird AI, the odd weird graphical glitch, it throws a few times on me so, on, a, on a finished copy. But these are little... Oh, dear. Uh, in, in Fallout and Oblivion, glitches could hamper your progress. In this, they're just a minor distraction in the corner of your eye. So oh, if look you can, at that. That's, that's better than Dragon's Dogma. Yeah. Obviously, there's a lot to do here, and there's a lot of elements to Skyrim. Yeah. What what single thing impresses you the most? It's all about um, freedom and scale. And that's, scale. that's one thing, freedom mm. and scale. <laughs> that's not two things. So, it's you know, you you get on your horse, you look into the great yonder and see a mountain, and, you know, miles away. You go, I'm going to go up that mountain. And you go up the mountain, and you not only will you have the accomplishment of doing that, mm. but there'll be something up there to do, a quest, a thing, you know, a bit of loot, a magic hat. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's reward, it's constant reward. Everything you do has a visible reward, and you feel satisfied. When you go exploring, you'll find something no one, you know, your mate would not have found, or people played for 100 hours wouldn't have found. It's that big. Is it, is it really dry high fantasy? No, um, that's the thing. Oblivion was very Tolkien-esque. Mm. Uh, you know, elves and, and forest glades and stuff. This is based more on Norse mythology, so it's a lot more hard-edged. Um, it's a bit more brutal. It's more interesting. So if you don't like high fantasy, mm. Lord of the Rings type fantasy, this is not like that. It's much more imaginative and unique. And you can kill dragons. Best game ever. <laughs>